Well, spring has finally sprung, or at least it's trying to, and that means if you want your lawn looking its greenest for the summer, now is the time to start putting in the prep work. Here with some expert tips on some things you should be doing right now to get your yard ready for summer is Dan Rakowski, home and appliances reporter for Consumer Reports. Dan, let's start off with talking about lawn gear. Let's say you forgot to winterize your mower and tools last winter. Can you just start them up and go ahead? You don't want to start them up right away if you didn't winterize them. All you got to do is uh, take a turkey baster uh, dedicated solely to this task and use that to empty the fuel tanks. Uh, you don't want that stale fuel getting into the motors and getting into the fuel lines. It can cause problems and it's just much more difficult to get out of the lines uh, once you've started it. So get that fuel out and once that's done uh, put in some fresh fuel and some fuel stabilizer, and then you'll be good to test out your gear. You might even want to get it replaced. Is now a good time to buy new gear? Now's a great time to buy new gear. Retailers are discounting their old inventory, and you'll see the broadest possible selection of new gear as well. If you need product recommendations, head over to CR.org. We have ratings on over 120 lawnmowers and tractors, as well as over 50 string trimmers. I understand that you think it's a good idea to test your soil. How do you do that, and why is it important? Testing your soil is really important because it gives you a good understanding of what the nutrient content is, as well as the pH balance or acidity. Uh, if you have a low pH in your soil, you want to add lime to it, and if you have high pH, you want to add elemental sulfur. The best way to get a soil test done is to reach out to one of the more than 100 land-grant schools in the country. They'll charge you a small fee, uh, and it will take a few weeks, so you'll want to get that done sooner rather than later. So once you know your soil com composition, then what do you do? What's, what's the benefit of that? So the benefit of knowing uh, the, the composition of the nutrients is it, uh, it'll really help you in choosing your fertilizer. So fertilizers um, on the packaging will have three numbers separated by hyphens. They stand for uh, nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. And based on your test results, you'll have a good idea of what that ratio should be, so you'll know what kind of fertilizer to buy. Do you need to fertilize? You really should at least once in the spring, um, if not uh, again uh, later in the summer or fall. Um, it just, it, it really gives the grass what it needs to get growing quickly and that can actually help mitigate uh, future problems later in the season like crabgrass. Let's say last fall you didn't get all the yard work done and there's piles of leaves laying around. Is that going to hurt anything? Uh, piles of leaves will hurt the grass. It actually inhibits its ability to grow. So what we recommend you do is either compost those leaves or even better, uh, use the mulching kit that comes with your mower to mulch up those leaves and disperse them through the yard. They contain a lot of nutrients and will actually cut back on the amount of fertilizer you need to put down. All right, time to get out in the yard. Dan, thanks for the advice. No problem, anytime. Thank you.